Hey everyone, it's Ian Rhodes with Keller Williams Realty, bringing you a hyper-local snapshot in the last seven days on the market. This is bringing you week two of the stay-at-home order and what's happening in the real estate market. And fortunately, we're seeing a lot of action springing into the spring market. And let's take a look at the specific data so that you're up to date. Okay, everybody, let's dive in to what's happened in the last seven days in the West Hollywood area Sunset Strip in the condo market. I've got everything from coming soon to active, active under contract in escrow, on hold, pending, sold, expired, canceled, and withdrawn. And in the last seven days, we've seen 12 new listings come on the market. In the last seven days, we've seen seven existing sales go into escrow with accepted offers. We've seen three go on hold, one canceled, one withdrawn, and one expired. Now that is a lot less than last week, a dramatic dip in places going on hold, canceled, and withdrawn after the stay-at-home orders were given. In the last seven days, we've seen nine condos sell and close, which is great news that escrows are closing, lenders are working, they are funding loans, and the county recorder's office is recording sales. So let's look at the stats on that as far as a market analysis. Okay, so looking at the stats, I always want to look at days on market. This is important to see because the nine condos that sold in the last seven days, on average has a days on market of 68 days. That's a higher than normal in our average days on market sales in the West Hollywood Sunset Strip area of condos. Of the ones that sold, they brought 96.53% sales price to list price. That's an actual slight dip. We've been seeing the condos that sold last week be over 98%, and this week we've seen a dip at 96.53% with the grouping of condos that closed in the last seven days. On average, we would generally see almost 99% list price to sales price, so that is a small dip in the average sales price to list price.